Hey, welcome back. Today's class is going to be an hour long flow class. Not super fast, not super slow, kind of a nice steady pace. And the main focus today is actually going to be on breath work. So we'll be going through some breathing techniques and how to use your breath to help you get through your asanas, through your flow more easily. Enjoy. So we're okay. going to start off as always lying down. So the class focus today, there's always a, a sort of an area that I like to cover during classes. And today it's about breathing. So come to lying down on your mats, lying flat. And I want you to lie down with your knees bent, wiggle your feet to the edges of the mat and let the knees drop in to, towards each other kind of like this and then your let your knees are just going to support your legs and then just give your hips a bit of a shuffle your shoulders a bit of a shuffle palms are facing upwards draw your shoulders away from your ears lengthen the neck and just tuck your chin gently down towards your chest lengthen the back of the neck close your eyes and just relax let go of any tension in your muscles, just let everything kind of sink down to the mat. And on your next inhale, to take a deep breath in through the nose. Fill your lungs and then exhale through the mouth. Release the chest and shoulders. Inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Deep inhale through the nose. And exhale through the mouth. Relax everything down. On your next inhale, deep breath in. And then draw the breath into your belly so your belly might lift a little bit. And as you exhale, release belly, chest, shoulders. Relax your face. On your next inhale, Start to stretch your arms long on the floor away from you and then start to bring the hands up. Palms are facing, fingers spread nice and wide. Pause with your hands up and then start to lift your left side up a little bit. Shoulders going to lift, place it down. Inhale, lift the right side a little bit and gently place down. On your next inhale, arms lift, shoulders lift, head lifts, like your are trying to touch the ceiling with your fingers. Pull your belly button up and in, press your lower back into the mat, and then slowly, slowly release shoulders, head, and let your arms come out wide to the side, T-shaped. Heel toe your feet together, so your feet are touching and your knees are touching. Relax your shoulders, relax your arms. Pull your belly button up and in, flatten your lower back into the mat, push your lower back down, and then just slowly start to lower your legs one way. Just a gentle shift one way and the other. Don't let the hips lift, it's just the knees moving. Really slowly, really gently to start off with. And then you can start to take it deeper. Keep the knees together, keep the feet together. Let the legs drop to one side. Feet and knees are stacked one on top of each other. Shoulders firmly on the mat. Draw belly button up and in and start to bring your knees back up to the center and then slowly lower them the other way, keeping knees together and feet together. You'll feel a stretch on your lower back into the hips, maybe up under your arm. Draw the legs back up to center. Pause here. On your next inhale, start to bring your arms up towards the ceiling, palms meet, interlace fingers, push the palms away from you, push the palms up to the ceiling, pull the shoulders down, push the hands up, flatten lower back into the mat, pulling belly button up and in, and then slowly start to lower your arms behind you. Push the palms away from you, really big stretch here. Now your back's going to want to arch. Try not to let it. Try and keep your lower back pushing into the mat. Then release the fingers. Sweep your arms out to the side 
and then lift them back up and then place them down by your sides. Now walk your feet in towards you. You want to be able to touch the backs of your heels with your fingers. If you can't walk your feet in far enough, then just kind of caterpillar wriggle yourself down so you can touch the backs of your heels with your fingers. Bring your palms by your sides, hands by your sides, palms facing down. So draw your belly button up and in and push your lower back into the mat. Start to push into the feet. Knees are going to come forward and your bottom will lift. Keep rolling up your spine, lifting your hips, pushing your hips up to the ceiling. Clench your butt cheeks and then slowly, slowly roll down one vertebra at a time. Keep your belly button pulling up and in. When your bottom hits the mat, release. Inhale, flat back, rolling up onto your shoulders. And exhale, rolling down. Use the breath. Generally in yoga, we inhale up. So inhale, pushing up. And exhale, slowly rolling down, taking it further. Inhale, roll up. And on the same inhale, bring your arms up and over behind you. Keep the arms where they are. Exhale, lower your spine. And on the same exhale, arms come back and over. So really long, deep breaths. Inhale, flat back, roll up, arms over. Exhale, roll down, arms coming back. One more time. Inhale, roll up, arms overhead, shoulder width apart. We're going to pause here now. Clench your butt cheeks, lift those hips up higher. Push into your feet, keep breathing. Reach the arms longer, spread the fingers wider. Another five here, another four, three, two, one. Release your spine slowly down. Bring the arms back up and over. And then bring one knee into the chest, the other knee. Don't let your feet cross, holding onto your shins. Just take a little rock and roll from side to side, massaging your back, the back of your head, easing out any lower back tension. And then pause. Put your hands on your knees and then pull the knees into your chest. Push them out to the side, push them away from you back together and pull them in. So circling over your hips, moving really slowly. And again, we're going to use the breath here. So on the inhale, you pull the knees in and out to the side. On the exhale, you push them away and back together. Inhaling in and wide, exhaling long and together. And exhale and then pause when your knees are together, change direction out to the side, pulling them in together and then push them away. Using the breath again here. So inhaling out into the chest and exhale, pushing away and wide. Two more times, circling over the hips, waking those hips up. And then pause when your knees are back into the chest. Release the knees and extend your legs up to the ceiling. Flex the feet, pull the toes down, push the heels away from you. Really nice. Can you stretch them a little bit longer? Can you pull the toes down a little bit more? Now I want you to squeeze your kneecaps with your muscles and draw your, the fronts of your thighs up and in. Pull belly button up and in, strong lower back, protect that lower back. And we're going to start with the right leg. So make sure both feet stay flexed. We're going to lower the right leg really slowly for 10, for 9, for 8, for 7, 6, 5. Keep flexing, 4, 3, 2. Don't put the leg down. We're going to hover just off the mat for 5, 4, 3, two, one. Pull belly up and in as we inhale up for 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Left leg lowers. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hover for one, two. Pull the toes towards you. Three, four, five. Inhaling up for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do double leg. So to protect your lower back, lift your bottom up, put your hands underneath your butt cheeks, palms down, elbows just out to the side a little bit. Look after your lower backs, flex those feet, engage the kneecaps, lowering for 10, nine, eight, seven. If it gets too much, bend the knees, five, four, three, two, and hover for one, two, three, four, five, up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend the knees, wrap your arms behind your thighs, hold on to opposite elbows, and then let your feet just drop down. Rocking and rolling from side to side. Massage that lower back. So in yoga, we use the breath to get into our poses. Um, and the main goal, I guess, is strength. Flexibility comes with practice. But in every, every pose, nothing should ever hurt. So any pain, stop. Releasing behind the thighs, take the outer edges of your feet. Pull your knees down towards your armpits, taking a happy baby. And gently rocking and rolling from one side to the other. Pulling the feet down, knees coming to armpits. And then pause. Pause in your neutral pose. Just drop your feet down. Keep hold of them, but let the feet lower down a bit. And then your lower back, your sacrum is going to come more into this. So just another couple of rocks. So your the flat part of your lower back, your sacrum, will get a little bit of love too here. And then pause. Bring your hands behind the thighs. <clears throat> Start rocking and rolling up and down your spine, coming up to your comfortable cross-legged seat pose. So Beatrice, it might be that you sit with just the ankles crossed. It might be you can bring your feet up closer like this, or maybe you can even come to a half lotus or a full lotus pose. See how it feels on your knees. Don't ever do it, sit in a way that's uncomfortable. Bring your hands to the tops of your knees. Inhale, push into your sits bones, lengthening in the spine. Bring the shoulders up, back, down and forwards. Inhale up and back. Exhale down and forwards. Deep breath in and long, slow exhale, articulating the shoulders. And pause, change direction. Back, up, forwards and down. Nice. Big rotations of the shoulders. And then pause. Again, drawing your bandha. So in yoga, I talk about bandhas. So underneath you, your pelvic floor, engage your pelvic floor muscles like you're trying to stop yourself from peeing. Pull them up and in, and then release by about 50%. Now, Uddiyana bandha. So from your pubic area, drawing up towards your belly button and suck that belly button in towards your spine. And again, release by about 50%. You want that strong core engagement. It's going to protect your lower back and build more strength. Hands on the knees. Close your eyes for just a moment. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Make some noise. <sighs> Lion's breath. If you're feeling brave enough, you can stick your tongue out when you're exhaling. Inhale. Exhale, stick your tongue out. Inhale. Fill your lungs, fill your belly, and exhale through the mouth. 
opening your eyes, reset your spine nice and long, shoulders away from ears, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, turn your head to look over the right shoulder. Keep turning, keep turning, but don't move your body, just your neck and head. Release to center, deep breath in. Exhale, turning head the other way, look over that shoulder and release to center. Reach your arms long, shoulder height, palms facing down. Imagine I've got hold of your wrists and I'm pulling your arms really wide. Have a look, make sure they're at shoulder height. Draw belly up and in. Slowly, slowly, we're going to twist, keep the arms long. One way looking over the shoulder. Release to center and over the other shoulder. Release to center. Reset your spine, reset your Uddiyana Bandha, belly button up and in. Turning again as far as you can go and then pause. Bring your fingertips down to the floor. One arm behind you, one arm in front. And then push into the floor and see if you can twist a tiny bit more. Maybe a little bit more still. Pausing here, bring your left hand off the floor, bring it behind your right knee. Push the back of the hand against the knee. See if you can twist a little bit more. Inhale, length into your spine. Exhale, turn a little more. Inhale, length. Exhale, squeeze that right shoulder blade behind you. Inhale, length. Exhale, can you turn your head more, your eyeballs more? Look out the corner of the eyes. And then slowly release back to center. Reset your arms. Reach them long, spread fingers wide. Belly button up and in as you slowly twist to the left. Release your fingers to the mat, just the fingertips. Inhale, length into your spine. Push into your fingers and see if you can twist a little more. Inhale, length. Exhale, twist a little more. Bring your right hand, back of hand, to the outside of the left knee. Inhale, length, and exhale, push against the knee, turning a little bit more. Can you turn your head a little more? Can you squeeze your left shoulder behind you? Can you turn your eyeballs? Look out of the left corner of your eyes. And then release to center. Bring your hands to heart center. So we all put our hands here because that's where we think is heart center. So draw the hands down in between your breastbone, elbows nice and wide. Push hard into the palms, push down into your sits bones, pull belly button up and in. As you keep pushing the palms firmly together, slowly, slowly, slowly lifting up. Try and draw the arms back, biceps by your ears, and then pull the shoulders down. Lengthen the arms, shoulders pulling down. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, folding one way, look under the arm, opposite arm. Inhaling up and exhale, fold the other way. Inhale up, turn palms facing outwards. Press like you're pushing a heavy weight, reaching your arms long, fingers spread wide and hands come to the mat. Left hand stays on the mat, fingers facing forward. Right arm reaches out, palm is up. Reach that arm long, but pull the right shoulder in. Inhale, lifting up, and exhale, fold. Look underneath the opposite arm. Inhale, up to sitting, and exhale, fold. Maybe a little deeper. Inhaling up and exhale, fold. One more time, inhale up, exhale, fold. Pause here, reach the arm longer, spread the fingers wider. Now start to push into the hand on the floor and you're gonna rotate so you're looking over to the left. Push hard into the hand. Imagine I'm pulling your right arm over to the side, twisting in the waist. Breathe, don't hold your breath and release, coming to the other side. Right hand to the mat, fingers forward. Left arm reaches out, look at the hand. Inhale, up, and exhale, fold. Inhale, upright, 
and exhale, fold. Going deeper each time, inhale up, exhale, fold. Last time, inhale up and exhale, fold. Pause here, looking underneath the arm. And then push into the right hand, start left arm reaching over to the right hand side. Look over to the right hand side, reach that arm further, push harder into your hand. Feel that twist around your waist. And release back down. I'm getting quite warm here now, thank goodness. I'm just going to take a layer off. It's very, very cold in London and I believe in Spain and in uh, Austria as well, but nice and warm where you are, Beatrice. <laughs> so next, bring your hands in front of you and you're going to ro either roll over the knees or bring your feet out to the side, coming to all fours to our tabletop pose. So knees are directly under hips and they're roughly a clenched fist width apart. That's your kind of gauge for where your knees should be. Hands are directly under shoulders. I'm going to turn this way. So directly under shoulders. If you're not sure what your shoulder width is, bring your elbows down. Bring your hands either side of your elbows. That's your shoulder width. So kind of make a note of where your elbows are and then your alignment is likely to be perfect. Push into the hands, strengthen the shoulders. Push into the knees. But, but keeping the hands and shoulders, uh, knees where they are, drop the belly. So keep pushing into the hands, but let the belly sink down and lift your tailbone, a little arch in the back. And then press into hands and knees, pull belly button up and in as you come up to your cat. Push harder into hands and knees. Exhale, release it down. And you're kind of lengthening the neck and you're looking down at like a 45 degree angle to the front of your mat. Push into hands and knees, push up to your cat. Releasing down to your cow. Inhale up and exhale, releasing down. Inhale, arch up, chin to chest. Exhale, releasing down. One more time. Inhale up, pull belly button up and in and pause here. Stay here for just a moment then push into your hands. Keep pulling belly button up and in as you slowly lower your hips towards your heels. Setting up for child pose. Lower your forearms. Bring the elbows wide and see if you can just bring your head either to the mat or make a pillow with your hands and pop your forehead on your hands. Sinking down, release any back tension. Relax your shoulders. Deep breaths in. And long, slow exhale as you release down to the mat. Deep breath in. Long exhale through the nose. Ujjayi breath. I'm just going to talk about Ujjayi breath for a moment. A bit of revision, a bit of 101. Ujjayi breath, uh, jubilant, triumphant, victorious breath is where you constrict the back of your throat. So have a go. It's a bit like the noise Marge Simpson makes when she's crossed with Homer. So inhale through the nose. As you exhale, it's a, a noise like the ocean, ocean breath, ocean waves. In through the nose. Exhale. Release the shoulders. On your next inhale, lift your head up. Stretch your arms long in front of you. As long as they will go, spread your fingers really wide. Coming up onto your knees, tuck your toes underneath you. Push into the hands, lifting the hips. Our first down dog of the day. If you're new to yoga, or if you've been practicing for ages, the things to focus on are... First of all, pedaling out. So bend one knee, push what the opposite heel to the mat. Inhale, lifting, and exhale, push the opposite hip, heel to the mat. So inhale, lift, exhale, down. Inhale, lift, exhale, other heel down. And at the same time as you're doing this, I want you to have a quick look at your hands. Spread the fingers wider. 
make sure they're your shoulder width apart and then push into the hands like you're trying to push your chest towards your thighs it will never make it um but it's it's the goal <laughs> it's a good thing to aim for and then stop bending the knees coming to your perfect downward dog push into the hands lift the hips up higher perhaps and now we're going to go into our perfect plank so come up onto your tippy toes and start to shift your weight forward, shoulders coming over wrists. Now you can see my shoulders are coming too far forwards. So I'm just gonna ease my feet back a bit so I can push the heels away. Shoulders are over wrists, strong pose. Keep pushing the heels away. Squeeze your kneecaps, the fronts of the thighs. Engage your core, pull belly button up and in and keep pulling it up and in as you push into hands and feet and come back up to your downward facing dog. Inhale, tippy toes, tip forward to plank. Draw belly up and in as you lift up and release to down dog. One more time. Inhale to tippy toes and to plank. Exhale, pushing up and releasing down. And then bend your knees, walk your feet up to the top of the mat towards your hands and fold over your thighs. Bend the knees quite deeply. Let your belly and your chest rest on your thighs. Arms just kind of dangling. Give your head a nod, a shake. Release any neck tension. And then tuck your chin to your chest. Lift your toes up, spread them wide. Place them down. Push into the feet, keep chin to chest. As you slowly start to roll up, arms dangling. As legs start to slowly, slowly straighten. As your spine starts to slowly straighten, keep chin to chest. Once legs and back are straight, start to lift your head. Bring your arms out to the side, looking up as hands meet, and then hands come down to heart center as your belly button is pushing up at the same, pulling up at the same time. Release your arms. Reach your hands down. So shoulders are going to go down. Nice long neck. Lift your kneecaps. I want to see those kneecaps moving. Beautiful. Draw the flesh on the front of your thighs up. At the same time, from your lower back, drawing down underneath you, little pelvic tilt. Protect your lower back, keeping your Uddiyana Bandha, your core nice and engaged. Perfect. So inhale, arms reaching out, reaching up, interlace fingers, reaching up, reach, reach, reach. Now pull the shoulders down, slowly folding one way, inhaling back up, exhale other side, inhale back up, release your left hand to the side, reach the right arm long, slide left hand down as you fold, pause here, look underneath the arm, can you straighten that right arm a bit more, can you bring the bicep to your ear? And then keeping your belly button pulling up and in, lift up, swapping sides. Left arm lifts, but shoulder stays down. Slowly folding, pause here. Reach arm further, bicep by the ear. Breathe, use the breath here. Draw belly up and in as you inhale, lifting yourself back up. Next, we're coming to our new pose that we only started this week something I picked up from yoga teachers in India, coconut tree. So we'll start off just practicing coming into the balance. So stand with your feet roughly hip width, so roughly a clenched fist width apart. And just bend one knee, coming right up onto the very ball of your foot, like you're wearing really, really high stiletto shoes. And then place the foot down. Other knee bends, coming up onto the toes. And just move from one side to the other and see how that feels. It's a nice stretch for the arch of your foot. If you ever suffer from plantar fasciitis, this is actually quite good to do. And then pause. And now we're going to make it a little bit more active. So start with one heel up, lifting up and moving. So you're going up and down, but you're not moving side to side. The only thing that's changing is your feet. Just going, easing out, maybe going a little bit faster or slowing it down, whatever's going to feel nice for your feet today. 
and then we're going to pause. Next, we're going to put our weight on the ball of the feet and start to lift both heels. Pause, take a breath and maybe come a bit higher. Look at something in front of you that's not moving. Don't look at the screen because I wobble really badly. And maybe coming up super high, really high. So you're pretty much balancing on your toes and a tiny bit of the ball of your feet. And then slowly lower. Then we're going to bring the arms into it, into, bring hands together, interlace fingers. And then slowly lift the arms. Stay, stay on fully on your feet to start off with. Let's get the arms right. So you're pushing the palms away. You're straightening the arms. Biceps are by your ears. Clamp your biceps to your ears. Now pull the shoulders down. Draw belly button up and in, strong core. Look at something on the floor that doesn't move and start to lift your heels. Coming up as high as is comfortable for you. Focus on something that's not moving. Find your balance and then maybe lift a little higher. Push the arms higher, but keep pulling shoulders down. Find your balance. And then super slowly lower the heels, release the arms and give everything a little bit of a shake. We're gonna come back into it one more time. This is so good for us. So again, reset your feet, hip width, palms to hands to heart center, interlace, push palms away. Shoulders have to come down. Arms have to get as straight as you can get them. Keep pushing the palms up. Draw your belly button up and in. Focus on something that's not moving. Lift your heels, lift your arches, coming up high onto the ball of your feet and your toes. Keep pushing arms up, shoulders down. Belly button up and in, strong core. For another five, four, three, two, one, release the arms, release the hips, <laughs> give everything a little bit of a waggle, a bit, a bit, a little bit of a shake. It's going to feature in every class from now on because <clears throat> I think it's an excellent balance for us to do. So we're going to do a few rounds of sun salutations with a few little bits thrown in and we're going to focus on the breath on this as well. So set yourselves up. Big toes touching, heels roughly a clenched fist width apart. Push down into the feet, lift the kneecaps, fronts of the thighs, our little pelvic tilt. Arms are pulling down, neck is long, belly button up and in. Inhale your arms out wide and palms meet. Turn hands to palms outwards. On your exhale, pull belly up and in as you slowly, slowly, slowly swan dive, hands either side of the feet. Bend the knees as much as you need to get your hands flat to the mat. On your next inhale, straighten legs, coming to fingertips or hands on the fronts of your shins. Pull shoulders away from ears. And then folding forwards, deep fold, lift the right foot, step it back to a lunge. Coming to fingertips, look straight ahead of you. Push the right heel away. And then hands flat, step the left foot back to meet the right. Lower your knees, shift your shoulders, weight in front of your wrists, clamp your biceps to your rib cage, bend the elbows backwards, hugging the rib cage as you lower chest and chin. Inhale, baby cobra. And then pushing via your knees, tuck your toes, lifting up, downward facing dog. Pause here for a moment, maybe bending one knee and then the other, easing it out. And then on your next inhale, right leg lifts up high behind you. Look forward, step or move the foot between your hands. Coming to fingertips, looking up in your lunge. And then stepping forward to your deep, deep fold. Hands as flat as you can get them, knees as straight as you can. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. And exhale, hands come back to heart center. Inhale, arms wide and up. Exhale, swan dive to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step the left foot back, come to fingertips. Step the right foot back to your plank. Lower your knees, shift weight forwards, elbows to your rib cage as you hinge down. Crocodile. Inhale, baby cobra. 
Exhale, tuck toes, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg lifts. Step it forwards, come to fingertips. And then step the right foot to meet the left in your deep fold. Inhale, arms wide, coming up. And exhale, hands to heart center as belly button pulls up and in. Close your eyes for a moment. Quick body scan. Give your toes a wiggle and push down into your feet. Ankles engage, shins, calves, knees, front and back of thighs lifting up, strengthening. Little pelvic tilt for your lower back, belly up and in, shoulders down and away from ears, neck is long. Open your eyes, inhaling out and up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. And you can step one leg at a time back as we've been doing, or bring your hands a bit in front of your feet. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, jumping back. Whoops, I slid on my mat. <laughs> jumping back to your plank. And again, here you can do knees, chest, chin like we've been doing, or chaturanga. Come up onto the tops of your big toes. Elbow action is the same, hugging your rib cage, elbows tight to your sides as you lower. Inhale, up dog. In up dog, knees are lifted. Let your hips sink down. And then coming via the knees or over the toes, downward facing dog. Drop the knees to the mat, flatten the feet. Bring your arms behind you, palms facing up, and drape yourself over your thighs. Forehead to the mat, relax your shoulders. If at any time in class you're getting too tired or your wrists are hurting, take this option. You can waggle your wrists around. You can make fists with your fingers and then spread them wide. Release any wrist tension. When you first start practicing yoga or haven't for a while, your wrists will be the place you feel it the most. So deep, slow, even breaths here, relax the shoulders. On your next inhale, lift your head, reach your arms long on the mat, hands shoulder width, tuck your toes, and we're back up in a downward facing dog. Walk your hands back towards your feet, coming into a fold at the back of your mat. Bend the knees to get your hands flat and then push into the feet, straighten your legs with flat hands. Give your head a nod, a shake. Wrap your arms behind your calves. So inner elbows behind the knees, forearms against the calves, grip your ankles with your fingers and then see if you can straighten your legs. Can you pull your nose closer to your knees? Can you touch your knees with your nose? Relax the head, give it a little shake. And then maybe shift your weight forwards onto the ball of your feet more. You'll feel this in your hamstrings. And then shifting back a tiny little bit, put the weight more on your heels. Breathe. And then release your arms. Walk your hands out. One, two, three, four. Take your plank. Lower the left knee. Bring the foot behind the knee. So out to the side. Left hand under left shoulder. Right arm lifts, supported side plank. You can stay here. You can lift the right leg up and stay here. Or if you're feeling strong and you're not slipping like I am, bring both legs together to a full side plank. If you're coming to a full side plank, lift the hips. Lift the hips, lift the hand, maybe looking up to the ceiling. Take your choice. And then super slowly bring the right arm down, step back, take your plank, setting up on the other side. Right knee to the mat, foot comes behind you. Right hand under right shoulder as left arm lifts up. Supported side plank. Or lift the left leg. Or step both feet together, taking a full side plank. Lift the hips, looking up to the hand. Breathing here. And then left hand to the mat, take your plank. Lower the knees, chest and chin, or chaturanga as you lower. If you're chaturanga hover, hover, hover. Inhale, cobra or up dog. 
and exhale downward facing dog push your chest to your thighs feel all your arm muscles shoulder muscles back muscles engaging right weight stays on the right foot left leg lifts up high three-legged dog look forward sweep or move the foot to the mat right heel comes down as we come upright setting up for some warrior poses so we're going to start off with warrior one warrior one i want you to think about train tracks so if your feet are on this at the same position it's hard to bring hips and shoulders forward so move your front foot out a little bit so hips and shoulders can face completely forwards and then start bending and straightening the front knee and maybe moving your feet a little bit wider stride wise so that eventually you're going to sink down 90 degree bend more or less in that front knee back leg straight lift the kneecap and the front of the thigh hips and shoulders facing forwards draw belly button up and in arms releasing out shoulder width and looking up between your hands like you're holding a giant beach ball keep working on straightening that back leg keep working on sinking a little deeper into the pose beautiful and then without moving your legs at all release the arms bring your arms behind you interlace fingers squeeze shoulders together as you lengthen the arms slowly humble warrior folding forwards left shoulder coming inside left knee arms coming up and over behind you and you're looking down towards your right foot on the mat can you lift your arms further can you sink deeper down to the mat breathing here release the hands bring your hands either side of the left foot flip the right heel up right hand under right shoulder left arm lifting to a twist reaching up looking up breathe don't hold your breath and then left hand to the mat step back take your plank knees chest chin or chaturanga as you lower inhaling cobra or up dog and we'll meet in our downward facing dog inhale right leg lifts up high behind you looking forward exhale step the foot through between your hands warrior one on the other side so again train tracks feet a little bit wide nice long stride bending and straightening to start off with sinking down adjusting your feet so you can come deeper into the pose hands on hips facing over towards that right knee inhale arms up shoulder width apart exhale release the shoulders sinking down straightening that left leg with every breath can you push the outer edge of your left foot more into the mat can you reach your arms higher can you sink deeper breathe pull belly button up and in so many instructions in yoga and then slowly release the arms bring your hands behind you interlace fingers squeeze those shoulders together hinging from the hips humble warrior right shoulder inside right knee arms coming up and over give your head a little shake a little nod let your head just hang let go of any tension in your neck and then release the hands either side of the right foot lift left heel left hand under left shoulder as right arm lifts up to your twist reaching up looking up breathing here and then right hand to the mat step back take your plank knees chest chin or chaturanga cobra or up dog and then drop your knees bring the mat width big toes touch hips to heels forearms forehead to the mat take a little breather deep breath in and as you exhale sink the hips down inhale exhale relax the shoulders one more big breath in and as you exhale hips coming even deeper 
on your next inhale lift your head look forwards arms reaching long fingers spread wide tucking your toes and we're back up in our downward facing dog right leg stays down left leg lifts up high looking forward step sweep or move it forwards coming upright for warrior two and warrior two we're thinking about a tight rope so from your front foot heel there's an imaginary line going back towards the center part the middle part halfway along your foot and that's where you're aiming to have your feet i'm going to come sideways so it's easier to see and you want a nice wide stride so maybe just wriggle your feet a little bit wider apart back leg the heel is further back than the toes. Your toes are cutting in at roughly a, a 45 degree angle. Hips are over shoulders. You're facing forwards. It feels a bit weird. Front foot toes are facing to, over to the left. Bring your hands to heart center. Really nice. Release them long. And that same sensation of me pulling your wrists. Extend those arms. Spread the fingers wide. Pull your belly button up and in. Pull the shoulders down and away from ears. Gaze towards the left middle finger. And then just a couple of times bending and straightening that front knee, maybe moving your legs to a wider, wider stride and then sink down again, aiming for a 90 degree bend in the front knee. Reach arms long. Every muscle in your arms and hands are engaged. Shoulders down, breathing here. Gaze towards the front middle finger. Imagine flames shooting out strong warriors. Flip the front palm so it's facing up. Do not move the angle of your legs. Just start to move the arms up and over. Reverse your warrior, dancing warrior. So right fingers creeping down the leg, bicep to the ear, stretching down the whole left side of the body. Inhale, coming up and release your arms bring the left toes in point the right toes over to the right warrior two on the other side shoulders over hips thighs are strong knees are lifted arms reach out reach long shoulders down and again bending and straightening a couple of times maybe moving your feet so you've got a wider stride and sink down reach the arms long gaze towards that front middle finger Pull your belly button up and in. Reach, breathe. Flipping the front palm, do not move your legs. Just your arms are moving up and over, reversing your warrior. You can look up to the ceiling or you can look down towards your back foot. Whatever feels nicer for your neck. Trying to get the bicep to the ear. Nice, long length. Inhaling back up. Release the hands and bring your toes facing forward. So you still want that nice wide straddle leg pose, hands to hips. And just gently start to swivel in the hips, a little bit of the lower back. Release, circling a few times one way and then the other way, easing out any little britchy niggles that you might have. And then coming to your still pose. Reach the arms long again. Pull belly button up and in, tucking your pelvis. Keep the hands, fingers spread wide. And imagine you've got a cup of coffee on each hand. And you're going to slowly hinge forward from the hips. You'll need to rotate your arms and hands to balance that hot drink. And you're coming to a flat back. Neck is long. You're looking straight down to your mat. Push into the feet, engage your core and slowly come back up really nice hands to hips pelvic tilt belly button up and in flat back elbows drawing up behind you squeeze those shoulder blades together as you pull your elbows up pause in flat back push into feet inhale back upright arms out interlacing them behind you nice wide stride inner edges of your feet parallel reach those shoulder blades together lift the arms straightening as much as you can belly button pulls up and in as you start to hinge forwards coming all the way down this time all the way down arms coming up and over have a little sway from side to side shoulders and head and then see if you can come a little deeper folding more arms coming higher 
You'll feel this on the backs of your legs, quite a strong pose. Pause here, breathe here for another five, four, three, two, one. Release your hands underneath your face. Bring your left hand directly under your nose. Push into the left hand, straighten the left arm. Right arm lifting up, twisting up, looking up, pausing here. Keep pushing harder into the hand. Keep reaching up with that right arm. And then slowly release, right hand under nose. Inhale, left arm reaches up, reach, spread the fingers, reach higher, push harder on the right hand. And exhale, release. Walk both hands over to the right hand side. Take hold of the top of the right foot. Keep your legs as straight as you can. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, spread elbows wide and drape your belly, your chest, your nose over that right thigh. Knee heading toward, nose heading towards your knee, perhaps. If not today, keep practicing and it will one day. On your next inhale, lifting up, walk the hands round to the other side. Take hold of top of the left foot. Deep breath in as you lengthen in the spine. As you exhale, elbows wide, nose to knee, belly and chest to thigh. Pausing here, take a couple of nice deep breaths. Maybe one more breath here. And as you exhale, walk your hands back round underneath your face. Push into your hands. Heel toe your feet in a tiny bit, probably about mat width. So heels maybe on the mat, toes off the mat. And then start to bend the knees out. We're coming down to a squat pose. So you'll need to adjust your feet so that you can come down to your perfect squat pose. Feet are flat, bottoms kind of coming down towards the mat. Elbows inside the knees and push those knees wide. Fingers, fingers at heart center. Lengthen the neck, lifting your head a little bit. Close your eyes and just breathe here for a few moments. Deep, slow, even breaths. Keep pushing your knees wider. Feel that lovely inner thigh stretch. And then bring your hands behind you. Lower yourself down. Extend the legs long and give them a little shake. If you're new to my class, like you are Beatrice, you're probably thinking, I, I could do with a bit of a break now, a bit of a rest. So this is like the final sequence before we come down to Shavasana, final relaxation. So what I want you to do is bend your knees, pull belly button up and in, and then drape your belly and chest over your thighs. Now I know some of you can reach your toes, so if you can, take hold of the toes. If you can't, just have your hands on your shin. Then flex the feet, pull the toes up and start to slide forward. Keep belly and chest on the thighs. Pause. Reset your spine nice and long. Slide the feet away a bit more. Maybe hands coming to ankles, sides of the feet or maybe holding onto your toes. Take another deep breath in, long spine. And as you exhale, get your legs as straight as you can. They don't have to come fully straight. And you're folding over the legs, nose towards knee. On every inhale, you're pulling on your legs to get length into your spine. On every exhale, you're folding a little deeper. Inhale. And exhale, folding deeper still. One more deep breath in. And exhale, fold, deep, deep, forward fold. Pausing here for another five, four, three, two, one, release your feet, release your ankles. Walk your hands up your legs to bring yourself upright. Bend the knees, feet are flat. Arms either side, fingers pointing forwards. We're gonna lift up to a reverse tabletop. Hands under shoulders, looking up to the ceiling, pausing here, push into the feet, squeeze those butt cheeks a little bit more. Staying here for another 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower your hips down, bring your hands behind your thighs. Boat pose, Navasana, feet and legs, knees together. Inhale, lift your feet, balancing on your sits bones. Hold tightly behind the thighs. Find your balance, relax the tops of the shoulders. You can release one arm, bring it back. Release the other arm, bring it back. You can release both arms. 
pulling the knees towards your chest, staying nice and strong here. Every inhale, reach the arms higher. Every exhale, shoulders down, knees together, point those toes. Another five here, four, three, two, one. Bring the knees wide, don't put your feet down. Grab hold of your big toes with your thumb, middle finger and index finger. Straighten one leg, push the heel away. Bring it back to center. Other leg, push the heel away. And back to center. And you can stay here one leg at a time, or if you're more experienced, coming to your full balance. Pull on the toes, shoulders down and away from ears. Keep your belly button pulling up and heel in. Shoulders down, breathe here, looking in front of you. Focus on something that's not moving. Focus on the breath, deep breath in. Exhale through the nose. Inhale. And exhale. On your next inhale, bring the legs together as straight as you can. Release to full boat pose and then hold behind the thighs. Bring the feet down, arms along, C-shape your lower back, chin to chest, super slowly with control, rolling down to the mat, arms coming to your sides. Walk the feet in, cross the right thigh over the left, squeeze the thighs together and let both legs just come over to the right hand side. They won't go very far but let them drop until you feel the stretch on the left hip, thigh into the waist. And close your eyes, you don't need them for the next few minutes. Let the weight of the right leg stretch out the whole left side of your body. Focus on the breath, inhale. And exhale. Release the shoulders. In. And out, relax your face. Squeeze the thighs together and on your next inhale, bring the legs to center, uncross them. Left thigh over the right. Let the legs drop down until you feel that delicious stretch down the right side. Release the shoulders, close your eyes and focus on the breath. Inhale. And exhale. Jai breath in and out. Relax those shoulders in and out. Relax your face. Squeeze thighs together. Pull belly button up and in to bring your legs back upright. Uncross your legs. And setting up for your Shavasana, extend right foot to the right corner, left foot to the left corner, arms by your side, adjust your hips and shoulders, give yourself a little wiggle, let the feet drop out to the sides, palms facing upwards, relax those shoulders, relax every muscle in your body, focus on the breath, in, two, three, and out two, three, four. In, two, three, four. And exhale, relax those shoulders. In, two, three, four. Exhale, relax your face. Breathing at your own pace. Equal length breath in and equal length breath out. your mind starts to wander, bring it back to the breath. 
in your head come true in your life and bring out On your next inhale, slowly turn your head to the right from your chin to the shoulder, back to center and to the other shoulder. Rotating your head, start moving fingers and toes, wrists and ankles, and then slide your legs together, point the toes. Inhale, arms up and lower them overhead. Take a full body stretch, point your toes, reach your arms, and then draw the knees into the chest one at a time, rolling by your side, coming to your comfortable cross-legged seat pose, bringing hands to heart center, to the third eye, and namaste, my lovelies. Thank you for joining me.